If you're trying to invest in Cleveland real estate, I want to know about you. I want to know what makes you tick, what money you're working with, what accomplishes your goals, okay? That's what 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 accomplishes your goals. Yeah, I guess that I guess that sentence was grammatically correct. Sounds a little funky. What what do you need what do you want to buy to accomplish your goals? Maybe that's more grammatically correct. Moral of the story is I want to know about you and then I will personally craft an investment plan for you, much like I've done for my investor client, Terry, from Maryland. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Terry, what's up? How you doing? You're from Maryland. You're an investor. You want C and D grade properties in the Cleveland market. It's the second video I made for you, player. And in the first video, I gave you something that was a little different. This is going to be a little different as well. That was like top end, top end, right? Like as far as levels of risk, you asked me for C and D. The last one I sent you was A. This one is like right under that. It's cheaper, and it's only a two unit. So it's, it's, it's only... If it works out how I want, it's only going to be 190K. But for you, dude, I'm really wanting to get you to avoid risk uh, for two reasons. One, you've already been down that path and you went bankrupt uh, during the last crash. I don't want to see that happen to you again. Not to say I think anybody that re invests in like C&D grade stuff is going to go bankrupt. I'm not saying that. But for you, Terry, I think it's specific uh, to your investment situation that your risk tolerance should be a little bit lower than a lot of the other folks, right? Because... You're getting towards the end of your career, right? Assuming you're going to retire at normal retirement age, you got five, six years left, okay? I think it makes a lot of sense for you to look at the, the least risky investments we have out here in Cleveland. And if I'm wrong on this and you're like, yeah, screw you, James, I want the C&D stuff, that's fine, bro. The rest of the videos you have with me, I'm going to get your ass some ghetto low-income properties, baby. No holds barred. But... I just think it's a prudent move for you to look at a couple nicer options, a couple less risky options. Uh, because, you know, you get a guy who's like 32, doesn't have a wife, doesn't have kids, uh, and, you know, he does some investing and he runs into some issues. Uh, he's got so many more years of earning before he hits retirement age to make up for those losses. He could afford those swings. I just think it's prudent. Uh, to as we get older, to taper off our level of risk. I don't take as much risk today in my business now that I have two kids uh, than when I started the business, right? So it's just something to think about. And, you know, I feel like when you guys work with me, partner with me, uh, yes, you want to know the Cleveland market, but I feel like you're looking for a little bit of, you know, my guidance and my business savvy as it applies to the Cleveland market in your personal situation. So that's what I've given to you to here, Terry, with this property. Real quick, before we actually get into the property we're talking about, if anybody else likes what I'm doing and they're interested in working with me in the same way I'm working with Terry, uh, shoot my team an email, <clears throat> give us your phone number. We'll hop on the phone with you, talk to you about setting up the process. The property you're all about to watch right now, I sent it to Terry privately months ago, so you can't buy this one, right? I didn't release this show publicly on Holton Wise TV until after the deal sold. So, Terry, let's get into it, dog. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. This one, man, this is a nice, nice property for two reasons, location and the layout, okay? 2206 West Boulevard, Cleveland, 44102. Price, 199900 Been on the market for 63 days, okay? It's been on the market for quite a while because there's not as high of a demand uh, for these more expensive, nicer duplexes. It feels like everybody that's coming to Cleveland, like at the bottom, at the bottom, the 60K, 70K, 80K, 90K, 100K duplexes, right? 
it seems like there's just so many more investors, right? Because it takes less money to buy them, right? So there's more buyers available. These ones typically take a little longer. Uh, but in my opinion, stuff like this, guys, you're really missing the boat if you're not picking up investments. This is in the Edgewater neighborhood. And look at this. That's downtown right there. This is the house. You're butting up to these woods. And, dude, this thing is ginormous, man. Ginormous, dude. It's a huge side-by-side three bedrooms each side and they're like 1400 square feet like we've managed several properties on uh this little area like this whole strip the the homes were just like so much bigger than like your traditional duplexes right like traditional duplexes coming in like 1800 square feet right these right here 28 they're just massive massive and because of that we get huge rents man huge rents market rents currently the current owner he's got them in there a little less right he's you know, got a little less. And you can see it's not like he's taking the greatest care of his building. Like, look, you could even see it in one of the photos. I just saw it. Like, he's got a boarded up window here, right? You got some peeling, right? So it's not like taking the greatest care of his unit. So it's not like he's, like, trying to deck it out and get high-end stuff here, right? But market rent, 1200 1200 What he's bringing in is 10 and 8 right? But market rents, that's what we should focus on because that's what you're going to be making for the long haul here, right? I don't recommend just booting these tenants out either. I would just say we'll try to slowly work them up, right? When a natural turnover occurs is when we'll want to do the unit turn, right? You don't want to just do a unit turn for no reason. Like a thousand ain't twelve hundred, but it's a lot more than zero, and it's a lot more than you sending like ten grand to us to renovate the unit, right? So twenty four hundred comes in. It's twenty eight eight for the year. This is real estate investing in a magic. You don't get to keep the whole twenty eight thousand, folks. That would be magic. That's not what you come to Old Wise TV for. That's that's what fake gurus teach you, right? Oh, here's the right. You get to keep it. It's all profit. It's not all profit. That's not how real estate works. Is this a very nice neighborhood? Yes. Is the tenant base incredibly solid? Yes. Are we still going to account for the normal problems that occur with rental property investing? Absolutely. That's what we do because that's real life, okay? So repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, those things are real. They do happen. So pure profit should be just under 14 k As far as price, 199 I think that's a little too high. Could also be why it's still in the market, 63 days. I think we got to come in close to that. But not hit it exactly. Think of 190. 190. It's a great deal for you. You put down 47 and a half. Bank kicks in 142 and a half. Pencils out to a long-term cash on cash return of 14.2 percent, right? And you're in a very solid neighborhood, one of the nicer neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? So you're not having to deal with constant problems, right? Will problems occur over the course of your ownership? Probably, but we're mitigating them as much as we can. On top of that, not only is it huge, right? Not only is it huge. Remember, it's like 2,800 square feet, an extra 1,000 feet, 1,400 square feet per unit. The fact that it's bigger helped us with the rent, but it's also going to help us with reduced turnovers. In addition to that, the neighborhood being nicer is going to help us with reduced turnovers. But also this layout, it's side by side. Even if it was 1,400 square feet and it was up down, that wouldn't be as ideal as side by side because side by side you don't have somebody above or below and the tenants don't fight as much. This feels like a single family home. Up down duplexes don't. Like 95% of the duplexes in Cleveland are up down. So when you get the opportunity to pluck one that is bigger, has the premium layout, and is in a premium neighborhood, you absolutely need to do it, folks. This deal is a home run any way you slice it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.